Hello guys, we meet again in Inner Channel. In this time, I will tell you about the first aggression. Major General Kohler, Commander in Chief of the Dutch Armed Force during the first aggression, landed in Pante, Germain, Ulelhe on April 6, 1873, after a four day battle. The Grand Moscow Battle Rahman was seized by the Dutch troops on April 10, 1873. On the same night, however, they had to give it up after a feast contracted by Achenese fighters, exhausting all of their available force on April 14. The Dutch troops succeeded in retaking the mosque. General Kohler was killed during the fire exchange. Consequently, the Dutch attack fell apart. They were forced to retreat to the shore while carrying the general's corpse. Just prior to his death, Kohler murmured, My God, I got shot. A telegram, dated April 10, 1873, forwarding a report of the Dutch consulate in Pulau Penang from a Dutch East Indies Armed Force. Commander in chief to the Governor General in Bastanzot. Now it's called Bogor. It reported that the Dutch had arrived in Aceh with 400 soldiers on April 5. On April 6, all soldiers were landed after an exchange of fires. April 8, the Achenis attacked, and after a fist battle, they retreated to a defense base. 200 Achenis and 60 Dutch soldiers were killed, and four Dutch soldiers were injured. Pante Cherimen, Ulelhi, the first landing site for Dutch troops during the first aggression on the top. This map depicts the Dutch troops landing site during the first aggression in April 1873 on the right. On the early morning of April 10, 1873, a number of Dutch warships bombarded the village along the coast around Ulelhu and Kuala Aceh to protect the landing of Kohler troops. The coastline of Aceh near Kutaraja, showing a number of Dutch warships, Citadel Van and Weapon, Steamship Jambi, Transport Ship Sorabaya, Bak Josephine, and Martin Van Rosum. Horse Sheep, Johanna Elizabeth and Susanna Johanna, Hospital Sheep, Cosmopolitan Tree and three more steamship, Marnit, Sumatra and Kohor. A Gelumpang Tree, Sterculia Fortida Lin, in the front yard of the Masjid Raya was named Kohler Boom, Kohler Tree by the Dutch because General Kohler was killed not far from here on April 14, 1873. A Dutch cast of the forest years better to take over the Grand Mosque by to Rahman on April 10, 1873. This Dutch cast defeated a close body contact fight. Shortly after the Dutch troops landed in Aceh territory, Achenese fighters with their weapons surrendering or being imprisoned. Achenese fighters not only possessed a fierce fighting spirit but were skilled in one-to-one -one combat. This inspired the Dutch troops to establish an exclusive commando force in 1899 called Marsose Corps. One of the mass graveyard containing Dutch troops from the first aggression. It is located in the village of Lampulau, Banda Aceh, on the bank of the Aceh River, Kruong, four kilometers away from the landing site, Top. Achenese fighters surrendering and being impressed with their weapons, a river, a pistol, a dagger, a ringjong, a spear, a sword, and a shield left. Okay guys, we finished for the story of the first aggression of the Dutch in Aceh and wait for the second aggression in Inai Channel.